Alright. So. Ahem. <clears throat> I had to redo that several thousand times. Um. So yeah. We are jumping into the new year. I want to do something a little fun in a game that we all remember from a long time ago. I don't see a lot of people doing plays of throughs of it, but maybe I'm just looking in the wrong places. Maybe I need to like actually go through and look into um, Let's Plays for Legends all day. I don't like doing long ones, because then it takes forever and a day for YouTube to be able to load it, but here we are. Um, I want to do something like this, which is nice and relaxing, because I still have the rest of the FNAF series to do, and my butt is clenching just thinking about it, and if you ever watched, if anyone ever watches that first episode, you'll know exactly why, exactly how much clenching I did that, that episode, so. Um, we've got the prince here. Prince Romeo is here. And apparently I've got custody of him on Sundays. But either way, we're gonna go through and start playing. Uh... Alright. And here we go. We're not. Oh, that was weird. Alright, cool. Oh, let's keep moving. So let's just say I recently acquired um, a bunch of N64 games. Uh, and. I mean, I'm not gonna let's just say. I don't wanna make it any more shady than it already sounds. But yeah, I, I recently came across this. And I have a bunch of other N64 games. And I'm talking about old N64 games. Like, I've got all the old WWE games. I had never played them, so I'm gonna play those. I never beat Majora's Mask. I beat Ocarina of Time, but I didn't, like, I started playing it when I was, like, 7. I didn't beat it until I was, like, 12. I'm really bad at beating games. That's exactly why I don't try to do anything, like, without have playing it at least <laughs> once through, because, again, I don't want to have a video over 30 minutes for just, like, five uploads. It's just like, huh, where am I gonna find the thing at? Like, I was just playing Twilight Princess, which I never played before. I'm recently doing a run through that, and I literally was in the, um, stupid Temple for like 40 minutes, being like, I don't do these damn monkeys. Oh. The BG, that big, big evil bad guy. Navi, Navi, where art thou come hither? I thought it was weird that they spoke of evil in this game. Like, the games. I don't think they really do that anymore. Oh, Navi, the fairy. Listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? And I just want to say, at seven, this was too much to read. Like, this was too damn much. Mal malevolent forces, even now, are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest... The source of life has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But, before this tremendous evil pa power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth, whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world depends upon thee. Now, nowhere in there did he mention me annoying as hell. But she will anyway. I remember loving the sequence. I just like how it was very, very whimsical. Oh, sour. Sour self. You know, actually, look at that guy. Uh, Mido. 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 Whatever his face is. Sour. I just love them rocks. <laughs> uh, no, I, um. Thinking about that, they, made, they named a swamp after him in Breath of the Wild. I really kind of want to do that. But that's also very long. I just recently beat it. And, you know, it was really funny because I was just I was talking to a friend before I went to because I did the ballad of the champions or whatever. And I was talking to a friend being like I want to make sure I beat the ballad of champions to get all these powered up, you know, spirit orbs before I do anything else because I remember this battle being cheap AF when I fought Ganon. So, I did. And I was right. It was cheap AF when I fought him. Hello, Ice Cat. Wake up. The great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. Ice Cat, get up. Hey. 
Just saying, I think I identify, not just because I played it as a kid, but I think I relate more to this Link than any other Link, because his ass didn't want to get up and do anything. Like, those are my favorite heroes, like, old school Crash, where he was just like, fuck, I don't want to save the world, let me take a nap. Those are my homies. Yeah, 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 I'm a lazy boy. Yeah. He was having some trippy dreams. I cut the man some slack, oh boy. Wow, what happened to your leg there, Link? It really went back. Far back. You finally woke up. I am Nabby the Fairy. The great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. Mm. The great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. Silent but deadly. Link, the great fart. Okay, let's keep moving on. Kokiri Forest. This had a great soundtrack. I mean, most of the Zelda games always do, but this one had a good one. I like one Waker too. Alright, Twilight Princess is still growing on me. I do not. Yahoo. Huh, I remember saying that. Hi, Ice Cat. This is more ridiculous. <laughs> name Ice Cat. Oh, well, Ice Cat. Ice Cat is proud of Ice Cat's name. You know, get a lot of names in the, in the ice lands that are outside of, like, pretty obvious and dead on. Like, oh, look, a cat. And the lands of ice. Let's call her Ice Cat. Ah, uh, fun stuff. <laughs> Let's call him Ice Cat. Everybody Ice Cat. Now you're a true Kokiri, is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you. Yep. It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. Sure. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the, the Great Deku Tree. Uh, screw that. I'm gonna go get some money because I know exactly what happens when I go try to see the Great Deku Tree. Mr. <laughs> you know what? Let's go see him real quick because it's kind of funny. I make all those jokes about the shoes and he literally acts like a bouncer. I was like, you ain't getting in with them shoes, though. Like, literally. Uh, bouncer bastard Mido. Mido. Frog face. Hey, you. Hey, you, Mr. No Fairy. What's your business with a great Deku tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. What the hell? Y'all are children. What? You got a fairy? Say what? The great Deku tree actually summoned you? What? Why would he summon you and not the great Mido? This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the great Deku tree without both a sword and shield ready? What? You're right, I don't have my equipment ready, but I'm glad he pointed out because I was thinking, oh, you don't have one either. If you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Sheesh. And getting through without that sword and shield, Link. Alright, what do you want, Abby? The great Deku tree has summoned you. Please come to Dude, did you not just hear the bouncer me do? Eat it, Mido? Whatever? Did I hear him? We ain't getting through without a sword and a shield, damn it. So we better sword and shield it up. <sighs> Which basically amounts to us running around and stealing. Actually, one of my favorite hobbies. You know what, Ice Cat? Ice Cat and Ice Cat are gonna get along just fine. Ooh. Or how clunky these controls kind of work. Help that I am not using a regulation controller. Alright, uh, let's see here. Monies. Rupees. Throwing rocks. Rock throw. Rock throw. Oh god, I just realized I did a playthrough of this game, which means I have to go to that water temple. Ugh, I am not looking forward to the damn water temple. Seriously, like. I sometimes have nightmares where I'm stuck in places like water temples, but it's mainly I'm thinking about that Silent Hill PT, PT teaser, where it's just like, I'm just in a room, and that's not to like reference that I particularly liked it, it was scary, a nice psychological thriller, but that's to reference like, that part where you're just going through the, the door and you keep ending up in the same hallway, that's, that was the dream. And that's kind of what the water temple's like. I hate fever dreams. You wake up and you're like, oh god, it was horrible, and then you're still in the dream and you're like, oh god, this is reality! This is the real world! Hate that shit. Alright, we need- I know we need, I think, 40- I'm not talking to you. Oh, I'm talking to you. Oh my god! <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> you came only up here, you're a real man. <laughs> Look, is the real pretty? I can't. 
Okay. <laughs> uh, I just got a horn. That's why I'm so particularly jovial. <sighs> oh, right. Let's go get the sword because I don't make cutting all this grass a lot easier. How do I do this? Oh, enter. Oh, that makes. No, oh, that's pretty easy. It's all nice and fun, cause we're kids and we're not adults, it sucks. Okay. Our friends aren't dead yet, no they're still alive. Cause we all know that it's up. Oh, oh, big ass boulder, how do I view? Okay, the, yeah, okay, I, weirdly enough I was trying to play this a little bit before recording and I was like, damn, is the, is the camera really this like, kinda, like sticky? like. Like how in Resident Evil 2, it's like, it doesn't really, um, like, you don't have, like, the freeform camera, and, yep, this is how it was. I feel like I remember having a lot more camera control than I actually did. You got the Kokiri sword, but that's how it be when you're a kid, right? You just, you imagine, like, oh, uh, this is a hidden treasure of the Kokiri, but you can borrow it for a while, but be sure to practice it before really fighting. Yeah, borrow it for a while. Can I borrow it for seven years? He he he. What am I doing? Oh, okay, equipping. No. Well, yes. But we're gonna keep playing. Okay. Get not used to that view system yet. We don't have to run that big old rock. Get on moving, Indiana Jones. Ooh, that feels good. I remember as a kid, I was obsessed with not having him have that shield, and I don't know why. I remember I was obsessed with it. I was trying to go through the whole game with no shield, y'all. It was crazy. It was a bad idea, too, because I ended up dying. Uh, I also couldn't play this game when I was a kid. At, like, when it was night in Hyrule. And all the skeletons came up. Couldn't play it. Scared me. Which should tell you just a little bit something about how that FNAF playthrough was going. If you didn't tune into that, because I don't think I uploaded it yet. No, wait. I'm going to before this. This is true. Aha. Just peek behind the curtain to see the little green man. Uh, no, but really, that really scared me. And those re-deads? Ugh. I actually can't- I don't even- mm, I don't even, like, talk about those. Little, you know, immoral bastards. So they really freak me out. Even to this day, I, like- Ugh, I have to do that sh I think it's just a scream. I think maybe I'm just scared of loud noises. Which explains <laughs> again, FNAF. Um, well, let's stay on topic. Let's- let's talk about this game. <sighs> 40 rupees is a lot of money. I feel like in real life today and right now is a little Kokiri boy, damn it. Can I get a friends and family discount? I feel like you should be able to get a discount. Like, hey, the great deck of true summon me discount, you know what I'm saying? Press Z and talk to me with A. Hey, how's it going? Yes, yes, that's how you. How did you get up there? The fairy is great that you finally have one. Damn. I feel like I'll be gossiping about little, little Ice Cat here. Just like, you know, he's the one with no fairy. Oh, he finally got one? Where did he find that one? The Wild and Barrel? Like, he's kind of gossipy about that. But I guess, to a degree, it makes sense. Cause, oh my god, this is too much as an adult, too. I can't read through all this text. Ugh, my attention span has re reverted to that of a seven years old because of technology. <laughs> can't read all this? And I was right, I remembered how much it was. Yeah. So this one. Uh, you got a deck your shield, switch to the equipment subscreen. And yada 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 to equip it. Use R to defend. R? I thought it was Z. Oh, I guess I was wrong. I'm gonna get my fingers right here. Would you like to buy something else? With what money? You know, it costs like house and home to freaking buy just that. Alright, let's. I'll write that one. Okay. And we're equipping it. I feel good about this. How about you? Romeo doesn't give a crap. He's just mad he's on my lap right now. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, really? Relax. You look like I'm torturing you. I just put you on my lap. Ugh. Alright, um... I think there's a heart piece somewhere. Uh, what I was gonna say was it shouldn't be too, too, like, commit too long to actually get through this whole game. I mean, like, this is not a completionist run. We just running through the story, you know? But I, because I remember actually quite a bit, I played this game quite a bit, and I think I'll go over at some point the Gwen Stefani Chronicles 
in this game of the Shadow Temple because if uh, you think the Water Temple gives me night terrors now, it's not even because I'm scared, it's just because, you know, it's really difficult and confusing. Now, the Shadow Temple, that straight up gave me nightmares. That crap was creepy, and this soundtrack was great up until you got to that temple, particularly. But anyway, I listened to uh, that while playing Resident Evil 2. And the Legend of Zelda. Shadow Temple. Stage. And pretty much the most of it, because she came out with, uh, that was the, the year she came out with Sweet Escape. Man, that summer was bumping. If you want to see the great Deku tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Uh, boy, check it. We got the sword and the shield, we can get in with this. Eh, what's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield. And what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief. Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the great Nido, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot, how did you get to be the favorite of Saria? And the great Deku Tree, huh? Grow, grow. I just thought her name was Sarah, too. I ain't speaking to you. I ain't got nothing to say to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like Cardi B in this B, and if I see you in the street and don't talk to you, I mean, I'll mess with you. What was it? What was that line? I'm trying to think what song it was. Oh, you got a Deku stick. Yay! That was Bodak Yellow. That's what it was. If I see you, if I see you in the street, you know, speak, I mean, I don't fuck with you. Mm -mm, something like that. The sax, I really love this thing to party beat non stop at the gym. Look at all those jerks. They're working out, and I'd just be like, mmm. Got that bags in the coop. Bussin' up through the roof. I can't even... I, can't, I just don't do well on the spot, I guess. Oh, whatever. Great Deku Tree, I'm back! This is a disturbing level. Just, like, as an adult and a kid. I just want to bring up how disturbing it is that he's just like, Yo, I'm sick. You need to go up in here and kill it. Like, okay, aren't you, like, technically my father? And I gotta go inside your body and kill something. Just... I want everybody to wrap their head around that. Feels like kind of Rick and Morty-ish, like body adventure. Oh no, that was Teen Titans. Still, same thing. I feel like this is more close to Rick and Morty because I feel like there is a pirate of the pirates of the pancreas kind of thing going on here. But man, there's all the spiders and I guess the lack of pirates. Whatever. Oh, Navi Dust has returned. Ice Cat, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Great Deku Tree, am about to tell you. Oh my God, more talking. I slumber these past moons have been restless and full of nightmares. Oh, you too? As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Are we in Morthal? Because last time I checked, that was a problem Morthal had. Verily, though thou hast felt it. Yep, I've been having nightmares. Ice Cat, the time has come to test thy courage, and I have been cursed. Damn. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Thus thou have courage enough to undertake this task. As a kid I said no. I was like, uh uh, I ain't going inside you. You're creepy, you got spiders up in you, and I hate spiders. Like, burn the house down. B burn the tree down. And I scat when Navi speaks, use blah blah blah. Uh, no thank you. I will pass. I was courageous, not wise. That is why you chose me for this job. <clears throat> Let's keep moving. And we're already at 18 minutes. Fun stuff. See, this is going to be very, very long. Uh, luckily, I don't have ads, so maybe I will keep these videos, like, super long. Because, technically speaking, I ain't making no ad revenue money. And that means we could just watch through for an hour. Da-da-da-da. You got a Deku nut. Is volume a little low? I'm going to turn this up real quick. It's a little better. I like uh, losing my hearing. Stun dudes and flash them. Fla flash them? <laughs> hey, this was the game for kids. Uh, okay. And it begins. This is gonna be a long journey. Yes. Look, look, Ice Cat, see down below this web. Yeah, I see the big spider web. Kinda can't miss it. <laughs> If all that, no thank you. So this shouldn't be, outside of me getting used to the controller, shouldn't be too hard for me to do the fights. I actually pretty well memorized, I think, everything. There might be a few things here or there that I might need to, I think I go higher, that I might need to revisit. Oh, I don't have the slingshot. 
Oh my god. Seriously? Look at this wall. The mine's growing on it. Give it a surf surface. Maybe you can climb it. Thank you, Navi. And... <laughs> okay. But I don't have a slingshot yet, so let's open this up. Did I forget to see here? Probably a map. I like that that's one of the first things I give you. I always hate the games like on the Game Boy where you got the map, like, a like, not too far in for my liking, but I was also really bad at the Game Boy games, so. Like, A Link to the Past, and uh, I played Oracle of Seasons quite a bit. I did not play Ages. I like Seasons because it was red, and it actually turned out to be really cool. I didn't play Ages. Not to say Ages was bad, I just I didn't play it, honestly. When you're a kid and all you can look at is the cover of a Game Boy game, and you've got 10 minutes to make a decision, and your mom's already being pissy at the counter, you gotta make a quick decision, alright? Whatever. You can open a door by standing A and pressing A in front of it. Pay attention to what the action icon says. That's... Thank you, Navi. Oh my god. You know, see how fast I can get annoyed? This is like FNAF and away. Oh, I remember you. Oops. Okay. Probably should defend. Bye. Hit or miss. I guess I never miss. Huh? Ow, 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 forgive me, Master. If I give you a clue, will you let me go? When you jump off a high cliff, you, if you hold the stick thing forward, you will roll. When you hit the ground, you won't let room fall. I can't guarantee it will work, though, if the cliff is really, really high. Hehe. <laughs> I don't feel like much of a tip. Well, try it if you're feeling bold. Ha ha ha! I wish that was in my life, like I could hear that sound when I was successful. Like, do 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 do. I wish I could hear that, but. I would imply it had to be successful at something, so. Ooh. I think this is where they give us the slingshot. Hold up, wait a minute. I feel like I feel something creepy and spidery up in it. Eh, let's open this first. That was really glitchy. You found the fairy slingshot. Speaking of fairy stuff, um, <clears throat> again, my first playthrough of Twilight Princess I was doing, and they gave me the Gale Boomerang, and I was like, at first, like, man, that's lame, but then I used it, and I was like, this is amazing, and then I thought about it, and I was like, I think this is the same Gale Boomerang from, like, A Link to the Past or something. It looks pretty badass in 3D, which reminds me, I have Hyrule Warriors, I should probably try playing that, because I just saw, yeah, I'm really behind it, I, I don't really play the new games that often, because A, I'm broke, and B, I'm broke. And see, I'm broke. Oh, the map key. Go. Cool. I didn't even realize I was missing that. Uh, but I, I saw like a little clip of the fire rod, and I was blown away by that little thing because in the games it does not look as cool as it did over there. Am I gonna target you? There we go. Anyway, yeah, this is this is not the gaming channel for people that are playing games that are just coming out. BT Dubs, because I am broke AF, and I'm doing this dude mainly please Juliet and have some fun, you know, this is mainly just relaxing. This is a, uh, this is um, what, what, do you, what do you call it? Um, an escapism project. Get all fun about it. You know, who knows, maybe I'll get my roommate chestnutted on this and you can hear some of our banter, which is kind of like, you know, I, I feel like Lucy and Ethel and I feel like I would be Lucy and she'd be Ethel, and that's not because, like, I need to be the main person, but out of the- Did his head just go through that chest? But out of the two of us, I really feel like I'm the one who's always cooking up the, the mischief. Um, but I feel like if we were another duo, we'd be something else. Amy Polier and Tina Fey? Seth Rogen and James Franco? I know it was really on that one movie together, but together, but I just like James Franco. Yeah. These things scared the poop out of me. You can get it again. Um, I'm gonna go through this door first. Oh, the hell am I gonna scream for? I can't get back. I didn't want to go through this door first. Oh, oh, the prince is awake. So let's light this. Uh, do anything for me? Oh. It's freezing. Okay. Oh, why? Oh, I was supposed to do that. Oh, get away from me. Keep going. 
Okay, I guess we'll go ahead and pause here.